Hello and welcome back to round two of the videos. I just got done dropping one video, now I'm doing the second video. If this is your first time here, make sure you subscribe. And welcome all the new subscribers. I see we got a couple new subscribers. Welcome to the family. Welcome to JDS PC Builds. You are recognized. We do see you there. And my veteran subscribers, as always, much love to you for all that you do watching the videos and everything else. Y'all, make sure you put a positive thumbs up on the videos so that way it lets YouTube know that we're trying to get our videos out here and trying to get to monetization. We are getting closer. We are getting closer, slowly but surely. And don't forget, this is August. Now, in September, let me, I think it's, uh... I'm not, I'm not going to guess on it. I'm just going to take and go to, um, let's see. We'll go to the antics and we'll see lifetime. Looks like on September 5th. Looks like on September 5th of next month, which would be on a Tuesday. I'm, you know what I might do on that? That'll be uh, on our day of celebrating the first year anniversary here on JJ's PC Built. I think I'm going to do a live video on that day. So make sure you all let me, you know, keep me reminded in the comments below. So that way, you know, it'll let us know what's going on. Well, we know what's going on, but <laughs> the thing is this. It looks like, you know, we're coming up to that one-year anniversary mark. And, you know, it I can't believe we made it to our first year. So, But that doesn't mean it's over with. That just means we're just getting started, believe it or not. So let's go ahead and get to the, the point of the video today. We're just going to go ahead and go to the action screen. We'll go to the action screen. See, I got an accent to it. And what we're going to do is we're going to do what we always do. But today, what we're going to do is I want to look around for, I want to look around for some motherboards. You know, I want to make today about just about, well, this video just about motherboards. Doesn't matter if it's Intel or it's AMD, you know, we're going to see. Either way. So let's go to Amazon. Let's go to that Amazon. And let's look up the motherboards. Always remember to go here to the all part. Go down and hit computers. And type in motherboards. Motherboards Gaming PC, we'll do that right there. All right, now we're on the right track. Let's see what we can get. In. Well, I know y'all ain't going to buy a Dell, so let's let's not go up in there. Let's see, they got the B550F for $178. Um, that's not a bad price, but it's just a little bit high. They got the Z79 Hero. 593 if you're looking for the the 13th gen this would be a good 13th gen for you but i sure you don't pay 600 dollars for it i'm sure there's many motherboards out there that you can get for cheaper ddr4 159 for the msi mag b550 tomahawk believe it or not if you look on the you know Many of the previous videos from a lot of these reviewers, they're going to show you a lot of DDR4, AM4 series, and, you know, the Intel series motherboards. So if you're looking for stats and everything else, that's, you know, that's the best way to look at it because they've already done the videos. All you got to do is type in the search on the, mother, the motherboard you want to get and see what the reviews are and you know and go and see the stats on that motherboard you sure you get all the answers that you'll ever need okay now they got one here the b550 gaming 
Gen 3. It's the AM4 DDR4 92. Look at this. A B550 motherboard. 9295. Let's see this bad boy. Let's see this bad boy. Let me look at this. Look at that. That's not too bad. That's not too bad. Not too bad. It does give you one M.2 drive. At least it gives you four, four slots for a DDR4 RAM. You know, I mean, it's got... It's got two slots for PCIe 4.0 X16s, but you know the second slot's not going to be X16, so we already know that. It's going to be probably an X8 or X4. But the one that's in, the one that's in the silver right here, the one that's in that silver that silver, that's a good that's that's a pretty good one. Now, I can't see no bad bads about that. Looks like it's got some good audio on it, and you know, it's it's got some good stuff on it. I mean, jeez, doggy. I mean, I don't see nothing wrong with this motherboard at all. This would make a good blacked out version if you're doing a blacked out version, because looking at the motherboard itself, it looks like it's a good blacked out version motherboard. I mean, if you don't want to do, like, you know, you don't want to do um, RGB and you just want a blacked out PC, that this board would probably be best for your blacked out PC. You know, that that that's right there. That's awesome. 92 bucks. I mean, can't beat that. And the maximum memory storage is 128 gigabytes. So, and you know that the memory clock would go all the way to 4,400 megahertz. So, you know, you can get 4,400 megahertz RAM for this computer, and you can go all the way up to 128 gigabytes, you know. It accepts the Ryzen 5000 and 4000G series, you know. I mean, if it's doing, if it's doing the Ryzen 5000, come on. It's not a bad motherboard at all. It looks like it's a really good motherboard. You know, it's got the Turbo 3.2 Armor Steel PCIe slot. Hmm. Supports AMD Crossfire. Let's say if you decide you want to do Crossfire, right? It supports it. And looking at if you want to add a, a one terabyte drive for 50 bucks and you want to add 3,216 gigabytes of RAM. Okay, now I want you to think about this. Motherboard, this and this, $189.97 for all three. All three of these. And then you add your uh you add your GPU. Let's say you get a GPU with it. You know, I mean what kind of GPU do you think you would really want with this? Could be anything, anything you want. I mean, you can put a 5800X3D with it. You can put a 5700X with it. You know, if you just want, if you just want to do, let's say, you take that $92 motherboard. That's not a bad price, believe it or not. That is not a bad price, and I bet you it's got all the bells and whistles too. So let's hit up Amazon again. Right, so always open more than one tab. Just just when I see something really good, let's see AM for processors. Okay, so did I spell that right? there <laughs> I put the S on it it seems like it didn't like it all right so now get out your calculator 
Tell it later, Gator. We're resizing it. Give me a moment. I had to resize that. That didn't look right. Okay. So let's say you want to do the Ryzen, the Ryzen 7 5700X. You probably can get a better price on it. You know, that depends. Let's look down the road to see if they got anything else that would be of worth. They got the 3500X, which you probably wouldn't want. Um... That's too high for that. Not, not what we're doing here. I mean, we can also do this if we don't want to sit there and look through uh, that. There's one more thing. We can go to PC Part Picker. Just trying to make it as easy as I can for everybody that's trying to get their own. You know, and when you go and click on choose CPU, let's see. Let's go AMD. Okay, now let's. Put Zen 3. So this way you can get a better idea of what, what's going on here. Okay, so now what we did, we we have a Zen 3 motherboard, so we picked Zen 3 processors. Now, 5600X is 138. 5800X is 219. 5600 is 144. Your lowest processor is the 5500, the 5600G, 5700G, 5950, which I know you're not going to pay that for a 5950. 5600X3D, that's only if you go to Micro Center. So... Let's say you... Let's say you say that... Okay... You don't want a expensive processor, right? You really don't. So, but you don't, let's say you don't want a video card either. You don't want a discrete graphics card. So, we look at the 5700G for 17710, right? So, we look at this and see where it's located. Newegg. Amazon one seventy seven ten. So it's on Amazon.com. So you go to Amazon and there it is. Fifty one percent off. Okay, it's an eight core sixteen thread. It's not that bad. It's a four point six gigahertz processor. Only difference between only difference between the 57 5700X and G is the G's got integrated graphics, the X it has no graphics. But they both have the same clock max boost speed of 4.6, which I know cuz I get the 5700X. Okay? Now it's unlocked for overclocking, 20 megabytes of cache, DDR4, 3200 support, so that's that's real good. And it's got a 95C TJ Max. Okay, that's really good. And it's 1080p, no graphics card re required. You know, then look at it like this. You say to yourself, okay, now I got me a good motherboard. Right here, got me a good motherboard with a hard drive, SSD drive, M.2. 
And I got me some Corsair Vengeance RAM. Okay. And you're looking at a budget of 500 bucks, right? So now you go to your calculator. Okay. Now I got three pieces to my computer and say 189.97 plus, because now you got three pieces. Now you just need what? You just need the processor. Okay, now the processor is 17710. Okay, so we're going to add 177.10. 367. Now minus that from the 500 budget that you put out there. Minus 500. That leaves you with $132.93 to do whatever you want to your system. No graphics card, but you got the 5700G that plays 1080p games, you know, just like you like and everything else. Now, let's say you decide and say, well, I don't want, I don't just don't want 16 gigabytes of RAM. I want 32 gigabytes of RAM. So instead of that, Instead of just getting 16 gigs right here, click on it, and let's say you want to get 32. Let's say you want to get a 32 gig count, or you can see what a 64 gig kit will do. So that's 124, and how much do you have to spend? Minus, okay, now this is going to be a little bit of a trick for you. I'm going to show you in one second. Okay, so now you take off $39.99. Okay, so you say CC one. 32.93. You'll get what I'm saying in a minute. You add back on the 39.99. So now you got $172 to mess with. Okay, now you got, you already got your computer. You already got like an, you know, you got your computer case. It's already set up with fans and everything else. You don't need nothing there. You don't need a heat sink because you already got it for, from your old system. You got an 850-watt power supply. You don't need a power supply. You got enough to supply the power for this. So now we're going to get, you got the processor, the motherboard, the SSD M.2 drive, and now... We're going to move forward, and then we're going to go over here to 64 gigs, a 64 gig kit for 124. So now you pull out your calculator right here. Now you say to yourself, well, now I got 172, 92 left. Now you minus that from the 124. Right, 99. And now you're left with $47.93. Left with $47.93. And now you have your built-in graphics card. You have your processor. You have um, your motherboard. You have your RAM. You have everything to rebuild your system the way you want to build it. Even if you got a discrete graphics card, even, it will still work with the 5700G. This gives you an option of both fields. Let's say you already got a graphics card. You got like a 3060. You can still plug it into this 5700G and it will still bang out the games like you want it to. It will still bang those games out. You know, 
So either way you look at it, it's a win-win situation. It's very much a win-win situation, just to let you know that. So coming down to it all, okay, when it comes to it, you know, you have your motherboard for less than 100 bucks. You have your processor, which will be much more than your motherboard, but you have two options with it. You have onboard graphics, and you have the option to plug in a discrete graphics card whenever. It will still work with the 5700G. Now, the difference between the, 50, the 5700G and the 5700X is just the cache. The 5700X has got 36 megs of cache. Okay. The 5700G has got 20. I'm sure for that 16, it's really not going to make much of a difference. It's really not going to make that much of a difference. You're still going to be able to do PCIe 4.0 X16 if you plug in, you know, your your um, vi a video discrete video card to it. You still got that option. It's still opened up to you, and I know that for a fact because my 5600G and a B550 motherboard gives PCIe 4.0 X16 gives. So I know if the 5600G does it. The 5700G will do it perfectly. The only difference between the 56 and the 5700G is the cache. I think it's pretty much down to the cache. And the speed, you know, you get more speed. You know, 5600G gives you max at a 4.450 gigahertz. And the 5700G gives you uh, 4.650 gigahertz. So, but so does the 5700X. Gives you a 4.650 gigahertz. So, the only difference between them two is the cache. And really, it doesn't make that much of a difference because you got over 20 megs of cache. You still got a good abundance of cash to make that processor scream. And plus at 65 watts, you're not going to be looking at busting down doors and, you know, overheating a lot and everything else. As long as you maintain it and everything else, I think it'll run great. I really do. I think it'll run great. But I showed you guys it's on Amazon. If you get over there, you can go back through the video to see what it was that was out there that we were telling you about that motherboard. That motherboard, it looks like it's a monster. If you're still going to stay in the AM4 series and you're not going to move up to the AM5 series anytime soon, but you would rather say, say you got a... A B, uh, a three, uh, let's say a 300 series a AM4 motherboard. Okay, you got a 300 series, and you want to go to the 550, the B550 series. Okay, for 93, 94 bucks, that's not a bad jump for that motherboard. That is not bad at all. 94 bucks, great jump. So you'll be jump jumping up everything. Your speeds, everything. So, say, say you already got the 5600X, but you want to go from the 300 series to the 500 series. It's not expensive to just upgrade your motherboard and take all your parts along with it. Say you already got the RAM. You know, think about, think about what you have in parts. And if you don't want to jump up towards the AM5 series, okay, you don't want to jump up there, then think about it like, well, take your AM4 series, take it to the next level, and then have a few, have three to four more years of gaming. AM4 is not going to go anywhere. It, it, I don't care what anybody says. They can say what they want. AM4 series is still rocking. 
And a lot of people are still using it. Now, the enthusiasts, if they want to go up there, that's their business, then go up there. Okay? But when you get gamers that, you know, are on a strict budget, they just want to know what's the next best thing for them for right now until it parts become more affordable. Well, that's the next best thing. Just take and move yourself up. If you're just moving up your motherboard, then move up your motherboard, you know. If you're just trying to move up your processor, then just move up your processor. I mean, what's what's really going to change in your system? Let's say you already have an AIO water cooling system in your computer. What's going to change differently? When you upgrade your processor, you still got an, let's say as long as you got a 240, 240 mil or better, 240, 360, it's perfect. 360 if you're going to overclock, okay? 240 if you're just going to let it run at its normals. That's, that's the way I took it for a long time. That's the way I was told was the 240 is if you're going to leave it alone, run it at, run everything on auto. But if you're going to overclock, then basically you're best to go to a 360. You need something to dissipate the heat. When you put more heat on something, you need to dissipate the heat. Especially when you're putting more heat on a 65 watt processor. And they do get hot, believe it or not. So, But that's just my opinion. You know, we did a little bit of motherboard kind of investigating. Yes, I know I went from looking at motherboards to taking and putting a mini PC together. Well, that's if you're a first timer, you know, that gives you a little idea of what you can do just to get yourself started. If you don't want a graphics card, you can go integrated graphics. That will get your foot in the door to do some 1080p gaming. Now, Everybody can everybody can crack on the 5700G or the 5600G, but they still rock. I don't have a problem with them because I can plug it into my I can plug my uh, 5600G into my motherboard over here, build me a system, and play 1080p games with the 5600G. Yes, you got to modify the settings a little bit for the graphics, but that's fine. Modify it. It's not hard. What makes it hard is when you don't do it and when you cry about it because you can't do it. Well, if you can't do it, then ask. Ask somebody that knows how to take and you know put all the settings the way they need to put, put it and get yourself rocking in on the road. There are many, not a lot of people cover uh, integrated graphics. Not many do. Some do, but not many. You will see some videos out there about, you know, integrated graphics, the 5600G and the 5700G. You know, I mean, even some creators do, do use the 5700G. And they don't use graphics cards. They have that wide open space in their computer. Just to let you know that. And what I mean by wide open space, that means if they want to take on a 5700G, a big water cooling system and build it right in there and make it look large. I mean, larger than large. Okay. And they want to put a water block, a big water block in there, and they want to put, you know, like two tanks, two or three tanks in there. You know, they want to put like, you know, let's say they just want to, they want to do two pumps and they want to do, you know, a bunch of lines in there. They want to make it look very uh, robotic-like like futuristic like you can do that when you don't have a graphics card in there you can do it with the graphics card in there depending on what size of case you got but the size of case that i got i'd rather just have it to where you pull the card out 
You got your integrated graphics. And guess what? You can make magic with this. This small case, you can make magic with it. You can get all the way up to a 1,000 watt pro, uh, PSU in here. So that's not a problem. You know, me, I got 15 terabytes of hard drive space in mine. 15 terabytes. And one terabyte for the operating system, I got 14 for the whatever else I do. And I still got room to put two more drives in here. And I can put almost 49 terabytes of hard drive space in this computer. 49 terabytes. That would be enough to set me up for five years of doing videos. Five years. And I could do pretty much five years of videos off of 49 terabytes. So that's something to think about. That's if you're going to get into doing YouTubing and videos and everything else. You know, that's something to think about. You know, you get a monster motherboard, you know, and everything else. And like even like that little system that I showed you, putting with the 5700G, 5, you put that $93 motherboard in there, 64 gigs of RAM, you know, the one terabyte of hard uh, SSD M.2 drive in there for your operating system. Then you take and get some external, you know, external, um, not external, internal Heart solid hard drives. Um, let's see. Let's see. Let's see. The Axios drives or something like that. Seagate drives. Um, let's see. Amazon. We'll go back to Amazon again. Let's see, 14. Okay. Let's say, okay, now let me take you back and show you. Okay, see, they got one here, 7,200 RPM. It's got 256 megs of cache. Right here, renewed, 14 terabytes. Okay, they got a 14 terabyte right here. You know, you got 14 terabyte, 14 terabytes. You know, depending on what, what you can afford, you know. I mean, I'm sure, you know, you could probably go up to, let's say, if let's say you want to buy a 20. Okay, so there's a 20 terabyte hard drive. Okay, there's a there's an Exios 20 terabyte for 349. But why would you do that? Why would you do that? I would not pay that kind of money for that drive. Okay, that is like unbelievably stupid expensive. Okay, so you know when I got when I got my drive, it was only like one thirty nine. Okay, I'm be honest with you guys. I got mine for one thirty nine. You know, and it was an X fourteen. It was an X fourteen. It's the Seagate X fourteen right here. But this is two drives. This is not one. This is two drives, not one. So you get the point. You get what I'm saying. I mean, it's. It, I mean, they got the one terabyte. I don't think you're going to pay seventy-two bucks for it. But it looks like prices are going up. Prices are going up on. 
you know, the, the hard drives. Looks like they are going up. So, you know, there's not much we can do about that. So, you know. We got an eight terabyte for 119. You know, I mean, just do your shopping and find out which one you want that's going to be the best for you. You know, one you can afford. I mean, you don't have to get balls to the wall, you know, drives that are really, you know, that are going to set you back like a few thousand bucks. You know, you don't, you don't have to go that far. I mean, you can find, you can find many of drives out there, but to get the really good ones, you know, to get the really good ones, you, you'd have to spend a couple dollars to get a really good ones. You know, I mean, Let's say you wanted to go and get four drives. They got a four pack right here for seven fifty one ninety nine. That's a good deal. So you look at it like this: you got eighteen terabytes. You times that by four. That gives you seventy two terabytes. That will get you to the moon. That will get you to the moon. So, if you want to go that route, then, you know, you can go that route. It's all what you can afford, you know. Do your diligence when you shop, you know, shop smart, and you'll get what you need. So, but anyway, I made it 30 minutes, and I do apologize. It's past 30. It's almost 40 minutes. So... We're going to go ahead and cut this one right here. But don't forget, we got tomorrow night, we got our we got our next video. So we got something coming up for next for tomorrow. And we got Saturday, we got graphics card nightmares. It's going to be coming up too. So, but anyway, if this is your first time here, make sure you subscribe. We're trying to get to 1,000 subscribers and 4,000 watch hours. Thank you, all the new subscribers. Welcome to the family. Welcome to JJ's PC Builds. Sorry if I'm looking this way, away from the camera. See how I'm looking at you and I'm looking away from the camera? I'm, I'm like, focused right here for some reason. And I'm trying to get focused right here. And also, too, my veteran subscribers, thank you for all that you do and all the love to you for supporting the channel. Much appreciated. So, until the next time in the next video, this is JJ and JJ's PC Builds. We will see you in the next one.